Let me just give you a brief example of the power of energy. Let's say, God forbid, somebody you know has been injured in an accident and they, you find out they're in the hospital, right? Your immediate default reaction is to worry and panic, get stressed out, be frightened and terrorized. And then you start projecting that to these people. And do you know that your worrying is being projected to them? It's exacerbating their situation physically. I know that sounds hard to believe, but that's exactly what's going on. That's why if you notice, a lot of these people that work in that industry are very calm. They're very cool and they're very collected and very disconnected from the situation. The last thing you want to do is panic and worry and have fear because you are unconsciously projecting that to these people that are injured, your loved ones, your friends, whomever it is. So just always have a high vibrational optimistic outlook on everything that you know it's going to be okay. Because if you worry, you're sending that to them and you're actually making them physically worse, whatever the situation is. That's the power of energy. Again, I'll use the rice experiment as an example. Look it up on YouTube. It's called The Rice Experiment. A Japanese scientist came up with it many years ago. He took a bag of rice and he cleaned it and washed it and cooked it. Now keep in mind, it's one bag of rice, not two or three, just one bag of rice. He cleaned it, he washed it, he cooked it. He took two identical glass containers and he poured that cooked rice into both. At that point, they're both identical. Then he took a label and he put one positive and he took another label and he put one negative. Now the difference between the two was none. They were the same at that point. But what he did was, to prove a point, he spent one week projecting all of his positivity to one jar and projecting all of his negativity to the other. Within less than four days, the one that he was projecting his negativity towards was already molding and decaying. And keep in mind, these are the same types of rice from the same bag. And the one that he was showing his love to looked as if he had just put it in a jar, fresh and brand new, untouched, unscathed. That is the power of positivity is a creative energy or your energy being used as a destructive force. And this is what people don't understand. This is the reason why this system never told you the power that you have and the power that you hold and the power that you carry and that you transmit. Monitor your feelings and emotions as these are prime indicators as to which specific types of energies, frequencies, and vibrations you are currently carrying, transmitting, and inevitably receiving that formulate your experiences that you are observing. Because to some point, not totally, but to a large degree, you are responsible for these things in your close proximity. I'm not saying traffic and people and planes, you have nothing to do with that. But I'm just saying, if something presents itself to you in the form of an experience, on some level, somewhere, you've had something to do with it, consciously or unconsciously. That experience is presenting itself to you to make you realize that you are carrying elements inside you that are impeding your progress. Consider each experience like a teacher that shows up, exactly when you need it, but you don't realize it. Because don't forget, God can see the entire road that you can't see. And the reason why God isn't giving up on you is because God can see the potential in you that you fail to see in yourself, or that the system did not allow you to see, or be, even make you aware of that exists inside you. So you can clearly see the last thing you want to do if somebody that you find out has been injured and they're hospitalized is send them worry and panic and stress and grief and anxiety and nervousness and tension and duress and, you know, hyper, hyper, hyper tension. You don't want to send that because you don't understand. You're an energy. You're a transceiver. You're a beacon. You broadcast these things. And if somebody that you love has been injured, that tether of love is a powerful bond that cannot be broken by God. And if what you're sending them is negativity and worry and doubt and low vibrational frequencies, that will, that will exacerbate their situation gravely and hinder the healing process. It will turn something simplistic into a convoluted convalescence. Meaning that the healing won't happen on God's time, naturally, now that you've complicated this situation unnecessarily by transmitting your worry to them. It's just that simple, man.